Hey guys, and welcome back to Swami Studios. I'm your host, Mod Swami, to bring you guys a Wi-Fi battle against Lenny. It is an OU matchup, and as you can see by my team, I am rocking Gen 1. He is not. It was not a requirement for him, but I wanted to do so. And Arcanine has become one of my favorite Pokemons to use in general. It's just, it's versatile, it's a lot of fun, it's bulky, bulkier than expected, and it's just an awesome Pokemon altogether. So... Overall, I'm really excited to be able to use it, and I lead with Blackout, which is a very typical lead for me, uh, if you know how I roll. It is a Choice Scarf Magneton, and I Volt Switch out, and I would have to say that I expected it. I did expect the Spore, so I did switch into Venusaur. I didn't want to overpredict and switch into, say, something that could deal with the Swallow, because I don't have anything that can deal with the Swallow. Uh, my Clefable can, but I don't like how I built this team in terms of use of Clefable because it's a Psy Shock, Thunder Wave, Moonlight, Moonblast type, and I don't know, I just... Something about it doesn't feel right, but I like trying to build teams based on the generation that the Pokemon are from, avoiding the, uh, avoiding the legendaries for the most part. As I forgot about Liquid Ooze from a Swallot, which should be pretty commonly expected, but Swallots are not very common in general. So, <clears throat> I looked at his team and I saw that Clefable could do damage to a lot of his Pokemon. But I also realized that Blackout could be a very useful Pokemon because he can tank a lot of hits, except from the Brelu. And I, I made a bunch of misplays in this match, and it's very clear that I did. I go for the Discharge here, expect him to switch out. And the Breloom actually does not get paralyzed. I was kind of surprised by that, and I didn't switch out, and that was a huge mistake because I could have dealt with a lot of Pokemon on his team with Blackout, and unfortunately I did that stupid mistake. So now I switch into Clefable instead of switching in the turn before. Goes for the Spore, and that really doesn't mean anything to me. It can't hurt me, so he just put me to sleep. Uh, I will get a second turn wake up, however, as he does switch out into the Swalot, and I go for the Thunder Wave. Probably should have gone for the Psy Shock right there, but I go for the Thunder Wave and I paralyze the Swalot, but it doesn't really matter because it's not gonna get paralyzed anyway. I didn't have very much luck in this matchup as a whole, and it wasn't a very haxy matchup, so I guess I can be pretty okay with that. It goes for the Sludge Wave, and it does a very good amount of damage to my defensive Clefable which, uh, I don't know if it's worth making a defensive Clefable, maybe I shouldn't have, but I do kill it with a second Psy Shock, and he's going to switch into the Snorlax. Now, Snorlax, I know, typically carry Heavy Slam, but I wasn't sure if he was going to try to set up a curse first turn, expecting me to switch out, so I just go for the Moonlight, and the Heavy Slam does connect, and it does pretty good damage. Uh, it's, gonna, it's a two-hit KO. I go for the Psy Shock, just trying to inflict damage because obviously Snorlaxes are more especially defensive than defensive. It doesn't do enough, and that's going to result in a ton of damage. So the Snorlax is a bit of a problem, and I switch into Clamp. I could have gone right into Pinsir and just close combated this thing away, but I decided to try and set up because I knew that the Snorlax couldn't do too much against me. But there was one huge mistake that I made. As he goes for the Heavy Slam first turn on the Shell Smash, it doesn't do much. Even at the minus two, it doesn't do much. And the Icicle Spear will not kill the Snorlax, which was really unfortunate. I don't know if this was a thick fat Snorlax, it might have been. But the Body Slam gets the Paralysis. That was huge. If it didn't get that Paralysis, I most likely would have won this matchup as I go for the Ice Shard and I take out the Snorlax. The fact that I did get paralyzed means that I'm slower than Breloom in priority, so the Mach Punch will KO my Cloyster. If I wasn't paralyzed, I would have outsped it and I would have killed it with an Ice Shard. So I switched to Pinsir. Obviously, I'm going to Mega Evolve and I'm going to get a beautiful Aerialite quick attack off onto the Breloom, which is times four effective. And that will easily kill it. I think I would have actually killed it from any range which is fantastic because it's a base 70 move with Aerialite. Uh, he switched into Halucha, and I accidentally clicked Return instead of Quick Attack. Uh, he goes for a Power Herb Sky Attack. 
very interesting move as this is going to KO Pinsir in one hit, which really sucked. Uh, I really messed up in a lot of ways in this matchup. If I had hit the quick attack, then I could have extreme speeded the uh, Lucha away instead of taking any of this damage from the... Uh, taking any of that damage, which would have actually been very helpful because I go for the extreme speed and I do finish it off, but he switches into the B drill and he's going to hit me with the drill run after the extreme speed does good damage, but I would have been able to kill this B drill. I would have been able to tank it. I, I checked. I would have been able to tank the drill run from a normal B drill. Um, and that's a problem. That, that bothers me because the drill run will kill me, but I wouldn't have died from it, and I would have been able to get one hit off onto the Blastoise, which would come in next, and I wouldn't have taken the U-turn damage that I'm about to endure. I didn't want to go for the Giga Drain, even though I probably should have, but either way, the Blastoise is actually an attacking Blastoise, not a defensive one, so it will outspeed me. I do need to fix Venusaur's IVs, as, as you can tell, that Sludge Bomb did way too much damage from a more defensive Venusaur, but he's going to hit me with a Dark Pulse, and that's going to be the battle, so it's a 2-0 victory for Lenny. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Moonlight Swami, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace, I'm out.